Hey YouTube, Jason here with Maslin Tech. So Apple unveiled iOS 10 today at WWDC. Here are a few of the cool new features that I found. Slide to unlock is now gone in a Touch ID based world. If you need to enter a passcode, just click the home button. Swiping left launches the camera, and swiping right reveals a new lock screen widgets tab. These widgets are customizable as well as interactive. Starting a playlist or jumping into the weather app from here is now much faster. Once you get to the home screen, the interface is a bit more familiar. There's a new Home app for HomeKit compatible devices to integrate to. I don't have any, so I quickly drop the app into my useless apps folder. That was when I noticed something interesting. You can finally delete system apps. I tried this with the calculator, and sure enough, it removed it not only from my home screen, but also from Control Center and Siri. Siri directed me back to the App Store to re-download it, so we are all good again. Launching the Photos app, you are greeted with a new layout at the bottom. A Memories tab is now there to auto-sort photos. The memories seem kind of random to me, but there was a On This Day section that had photos from a year ago in it. Moving on to the Clock app, it's now all dark with a new design. This would have fit in really well with the rumored dark mode for iOS, but for now, this is all we get. Maps has a new interface as well. It's a little more intelligent, remembering where I last parked my car and showing me a small icon of the weather in the corner. It also has a hint of dark mode in the satellite view, but not the maps and transit views, which I find a little odd. Notes now gives you the ability to share notes with people, and News has got a bit of a redesign with additional sources to boot. However, bigger improvements came in the form of Notification Center and Control Center. Notification Center no longer is shared with widgets, and finally has a clear all button. Widgets have now been delegated to the far left of the home screen and are far more interactive than before. Control Center got a redesign. Icons are larger and farther spaced out, and now music gets its own separate card that you can swipe to. The flashlight now has three levels of brightness when 3D touched, and AirPlay is smartly attached to the music card and will present a list of devices to play to if multiple are available. Launching the music app from here, we can see one of iOS 10's best changes. The app is so much more clean than in iOS 9, with better spacing, and the fonts are almost comically large on my 6S+. Plus. Animations are clean and make sense when navigating the app. The way album art shrinks when you pause the music is my favorite. The volume and scrubbing sliders are now super easy to grab, but it looks like precision scrubbing is gone. Last but not least, Messages got a pretty huge overhaul. iMessage will now let you draw, animate the speech bubbles, and even overtake the screen with animated backgrounds. Inserting photos and emojis is now far easier than before, but even on the larger 6S Plus screen, messages felt cramped to me. The interface seems a little too complicated, and I can see it causing a lot of accidental texts when iOS 10 is formally released. Those were a few of the cool things that I found in iOS 10 Beta 1. Let me know in the comments what you found and what else you'd like to see Apple add in future betas. I'm still holding out for dark mode myself. I plan on covering macOS Sierra tomorrow, so check back for my impressions on that. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, like, subscribe, share, and I'll see you in the next one.